hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Today I am going to be talking about my summer must-haves for my toddler and my baby. I have a daughter that is two years old and a baby that is seven months old. If you are new to my channel, then welcome and please subscribe below. And if you haven't already, then make sure you are following me on all of my social media accounts. Links to those can be found in the description box below. Very first item that I'm going to be mentioning is a life jacket. This is super important for our family because Olivia really loves the water. She's a toddler and we learned this summer that she's really into getting into the swimming pool at the place we live and also when we took her camping, she loved to get into the lake and so having this life jacket was so helpful. It helps reassure myself that she's going to be okay because she cannot swim yet. And plus, I've seen so many articles floating around Facebook, floating around the news about little children that are getting into backyards and falling into swimming pools and drowning. And so this is an absolute must. And it literally is a lifesaver. And so I definitely think this is something that you guys should put on your must-haves as a number one priority when summer comes around because we want to keep our little ones safe and there's nothing else safer than having a life jacket. This one is kind of getting a little bit too small so I think I'm going to have to upgrade Olivia's. I could save this for Cora. Cora has not yet been in the water. I think I'm just going to wait until she's a lot older, maybe next summer. So you have to make sure that it is the proper weight because you want to make sure that it can hold the child up. And this is also really helpful if you can find a life jacket that has this little strap. It is something that keeps the life jacket from slipping up and over and off of the toddler's arms. And so this is nice because it just goes right between the legs and then it snaps in. And so once they get into the water, it's kind of stuck in place there. It does not become unsecure. The second item that I am going to be mentioning is a pair of sunglasses. And these are a must have just be, not only because they are cute, but because my toddler really enjoys to wear these when we are driving around in the car. And I also have a pair for my baby, which is super helpful. If you guys have noticed when the car seat's in the back and it's facing the rear, that sometimes the sun is rearing in and they still wanna look around and they don't want the car seat cover to completely be covering their face. And so having these sunglasses really do help keep the sun from hitting your baby's face and that's what I absolutely love is that she doesn't have to be enclosed everywhere we go now. She can still be exposed to everything and yet have the coverage and protection for her eyes. And it's also just super adorable that she gets to wear a pair of sunglasses with Olivia. Along with protection of the eyes, I also want to keep myself and my family protected with sunscreen. So it's an absolute must to have sunscreen for the entire family. If I had a Costco card, I would probably load up on sunscreen because that's how much I actually use it. I have lupus, I have to stay out of the sun, and I want to make sure that my babies and my toddler's new skin is very much protected, and so I tried to get an SPF I guess they say anything that's above SPF 30 to 40 really doesn't make a difference as far as protection goes because I guess anything 30 or 40 up is relatively the same. So this one says it's SPF 70 and supposedly this is supposed to be pretty much the same as an SPF 30 or 40. I don't know how much that is true, but um, I always just try to go with the highest one anyways. Again, I just really want the best protection for all of us. I try to get one that is waterproof because my toddler, like I said, is a swimmer and she's in and out of the pool. And so I have to make sure that they have something. I tried to get the spray at first because I thought that would be a lot more convenient for kids and just spray them and have them turn around. And I just really didn't like that they were inhaling it so much and that the fumes were just going directly through their nose and into their body because it makes me cough 
whenever I smell that stuff. And this one actually is pretty nice, Neutrogena. It's nice because it has a very light scent. And when you put it on, it isn't totally white and it blends into your skin so you're not walking around looking like a ghost at the swimming pool or the beach and it's really nice and i don't feel sick when i wear this as you guys know i am a chemical free lover and i try to stay away from chemicals and i had bought a sunscreen that was chemical free and was organic we ended up putting it on and i noticed that i had it on for maybe five to ten minutes and i could feel that I was already getting sunburned and it just really wasn't the protection that I needed. It also left a really thick layer of the white film that comes with the sunscreen and I didn't like that so my fiance got this on Amazon and this has so far been really good to me. Surprisingly, like I said, I'm very sensitive to chemicals and stuff but I have not felt sick wearing this so that's really nice. And it's really important to do your research and look into your sunscreen before you really invest in something. This is something I put on them when I know we're gonna be outside just for, you know, an hour out in the sun in the swimming pool. Or this is something that I put on them when I know they're gonna be really exposed to the sun. I can still use that organic one when I know that we're just gonna be out and about walking through the shade and places like that. But so far, I am really liking this. Next item, speaking of getting into the water, is a baby bathing suit, of course, and a toddler bathing suit. But look how adorable this little bathing suit is. I have to show you guys a picture of Cora in this bathing suit because it is the sweetest thing. This is from Old Navy, and I remember I went there and I saw this bathing suit and I absolutely fell in love, but I didn't want to spend the money for it. And then I came back during their Labor Day sale and this bathing suit ended up only being around $3. So it was definitely a steal. I absolutely love it. I'll go ahead and show you guys Olivia's bathing suit. Olivia's bathing suit, I am all about sun protection and everything, so it's not your standard strap bathing suit. I'd always get the bathing suits with the sleeves on them, and that's just added sun protection, and it just makes me feel more comfortable that she's not so exposed to um, the possibility of getting a sunburn. And so this is really nice. I bought this one along with two other of these bathing suits at Old Navy, and during that same sale, and I think they were all around five or six dollars for a complete set. So this was the top to this one. Cora. Cora's watching me film. Hi. And these cute little girly bottoms, which are super nice. Something else that you absolutely must when you have a toddler, especially a toddler that is not potty trained, and a baby that is going out in the water, and that is these little swimming pull-ups and to help protect my toddler and my baby in case they have to go potty and they are not near potty and I cannot change your diaper in the moment and they're just in the water. Basically, it just protects them from peeing or pooping in the pool. And so I love these. These are super cute too because I could just put the bottoms on Olivia. Olivia's potty trained I would say she's about 80% potty trained, but when we go outside and we are in public in the pool, I like to put this on for safety because I wouldn't want another child pooping or peeing in the pool <laughs> when I was in it. So just to be courteous. Okay, the next item is something that is actually super fun and the entire family actually enjoys it. And this is Olivia's favorite thing to bring down to the pool and it really helps her again she does not know how to swim she is two years old and I don't know if you guys can really see it but it's a blow up flamingo and it's not entirely blown up now because she hasn't used it in a week so I was trying to put it down to save some space but these are really awesome if you have a baby or a toddler so they basically just sit 
in here and they float above the water you do have to stay with them because I have heard that these can flip over and that could be very dangerous obviously so you want to stay with them in the water it's not something where you could just put your baby or your toddler in and then just let them float about and feel you know 100% safe with them in this that's not what this is for this is just to kind of better the experience with them in the water and this one's really cool because it ended up having a little drape that went over this way and connected to each little arm and that was just an added sun protection and so I thought that was really neat and I love this thing because I can put Olivia in the pool and I can just kind of push her around and I can still swim as well so this is like a must have probably until she learns to start swimming but then we'll keep it for Cora so we'll see now that it's summer and it's really warm weather our children are going to be outside playing a whole lot more and that's why i actually am in love with this Kuroxin, the first aid ointment What's really awesome about this is that this actually is chemical free it's organic and it has worked amazing on not only myself, but my daughter. This is natural and it works super quickly. It's supposed to kill germs five times faster than any other type of ointment. And I can justify how awesome this stuff is just because I put it on a spot of acne the other night and I woke up and it was pretty faded and almost gone. And then Olivia had actually scratched her nose and I put this on her nose and it's pretty much gone and it's only been two days. If you have a toddler and your toddler is like mine, then you absolutely know that they try to get outside as much as possible, especially during the summer. And not only do toddlers like to play outside, but they always fall down, especially Olivia. Olivia falls down all the time and this stuff has worked absolute miracles. I can stand by this because I am an organic, chemical-free mommy and I want the best for my daughter and this stuff actually hits the spot and it gets rid of any type of bacteria and it helps reassure me that if she does get a scrape or a scratch that she is not going to get any type of infection. Think of a first aid ointment, you don't really think of it having too much of a scent, but Caroxin definitely has a nice sweet little scent to it and I actually don't mind it. I think it smells good and it's something that makes my toddler more comfortable when I'm putting it on her as well. She's not so scared of any type of band-aids or any medicine. So this stuff does the trick, it's awesome. Again, it's natural, it's chemical free. It comes in this adorable little tube and so it's easy to carry in your purse or in your diaper bag. I only invest in products that I trust. Having this product be natural and organic is perfect for me. The most awesome thing about this is that studies have shown the rate in which it can kill bacteria, which is super fast. And so I really like this and I'll probably keep buying this. If you guys happen to be interested in this ointment, then I'll go ahead and I'll link it down below for you. Speaking of protection, cannot forget baby and toddler hats. They are an absolute must. This is too... They are an absolute must. Hats really protect little babies' heads because as we know, little babies don't have that much hair. I was never a hat person until I became a mommy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, then please like this video for love. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I will continue to keep you guys updated on my crazy family life and I will be talking to you guys soon.